The thing that you said that was, that really did it for me was if you've had your condition for more than six months, then your doctor doesn't know how to help you. And I have been working with a doctor and also a medical intuitive, which is a person who um, tunes into your energy field and tunes into your health and kind of like psychically um, will assess your health. Uh, and it just seemed like we were out of ideas and you were the best idea. Tell me more about yourself because I'm really curious about what you do for work. I've been following your Facebook page. Can you tell me more about what you do for work uh, and introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you. Um, I work with uh, women business owners to help them multiply their revenues without exhaustion because we all know how to grow our businesses uh, and just like work ourselves really hard. And so we get worn out, but I help them to do that without exhaustion so that they can build profitable and joyful consulting businesses. Most of my clients are consultants um, and a, a few kind of agency owners. Uh, and I've been doing that for a really long time. I came out of corporate like a lot of my clients. And so um, I knew that that was a place where creativity and um, freedom did not exist. And so I wanted to have uh, a business where I could express my freedom, uh, well, express my creativity and experience uh, freedom because uh, I, I see uh, you and your sister down in Miami living the good life. And um, my husband and I live on Martha's Vineyard, which is an island off of Massachusetts, also living the good life. So we're out on the boats and um, going to the beach and uh, we have two dogs and a cat. So we're very active with our with our dogs and doing all kinds of adventures here. I'm really glad to hear the great work that you're doing and helping women to create the value and 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 raise the value and and change the world. So Thank I you. appreciate the work the work that you're doing. Uh, so could you share with me uh, more about your health and, and how your health, like when you started having symptoms or issues mm -hmm. with your health, maybe how that affected your work or your life? Well, I've always been super uh, healthy. Uh, I, you know, I sometimes will struggle with my weight, like most women. Um, you know, it'll go up and down depending on how much I'm paying attention to it. And uh, I also will kind of like um, come and go with being um, working on my fitness as well. But I'm very active. So uh, that has been a, a really important thing to me. And during, especially during COVID, uh, right before then, I had started working out and um, I love, you know, I'm kind of, a, you can tell I'm kind of a go, go, go kind of a person. So I really wanted to have really hard workouts. So I was doing really hard workouts during COVID and I got kind of used to that. And probably I was maybe doing a little harder than I should do for myself. And so I was like, you know, working and then doing these really hard workouts and things. So uh, it was possibly like a little much for what I should be doing. Um and I mentioned that we're very active here and outdoorsy with the dogs. And so um, it's very common. Lyme disease is very common here. And so I had um, I had a really crazy thing happen where I was laying in bed one night. I knew I had a, a tick. Uh, I, I, I it was kind of embedded. And so I went to the local clinic and they um, th to remove it because it had like the, it got embedded and I couldn't remove it myself. So I went to them and was like, can you remove this? And they it felt like with a spoon dug in and extracted the stick. So it was super painful and like really this um, kind of a dumb thing. And you never know if you're going to have, if it's going to be, well, you pretty much all of the ticks now have Lyme disease in them. So um, you just don't know if it's going to be a problem or, or not. So they gave me a bunch of do doxycycline to take, which is an antibiotic. And I'm not super, um, in favor of excessive amounts of antibiotics. And in retrospect, uh, I should have taken more or a, a longer duration of it, but I just didn't want to do that. And in the future, I probably will take a full course of it. Um, but in this situation, I just didn't want to do that. Um, and I don't know if it's that tick bite or another tick bite, because some people even question whether it's actually ticks that give you Lyme disease, uh, or if it isn't just like it's already in our bodies and it gets activated by some sort of, uh, cause I also got a bee sting that summer. You know, I've, I've been looking at all of those kinds of things. Uh, one night I was lying in bed and I just felt like there was, I don't know if you know what a pinball machine is, but it's like one of those, those kind of games that you kind of play like this. And it, it felt like my whole body was a pinball machine. So it was like, just like this energy kind of racing around my body. 
And to be honest, it was a very interesting thing. I just was like fascinated. I was like, what is happening? It wasn't painful. It was just really strange, just all over. Um, and a little while after that, I think I maybe started having some symptoms. I'm not sure what my first, I can't really remember what my first symptoms were, but I do remember that I went to, it may have been from that. I started to feel kind of like, I think something's funky. And my symptoms were mostly arthritis and um, myalgia, which is like muscle stiffness. Uh, and because I worked out so much, I knew where I had arthritis and where I didn't have arthritis. So I had never felt um, anything in my hands. I had like one toe and like one knee and that was it. And so I felt it in like my hips. I would feel joint flares and I had never felt any of that before. And so I went to the doctor and I said, I don't know what's up. And so we did a tick panel, which is very common here. And I came back positive for TBRF, which is tick-borne relapsing fever. It's Borrelia miyamotoi. So it's a pretty rare one. And what's interesting is I didn't have any of the symptoms of that kind because that's a fever. Uh, mine was just more kind of like a general one, but thankfully I also didn't have brain fog, which is very common for Lyme. And uh, so at that point, I just started thinking like, okay, well, like maybe I have this and let's see if like over the next few um, months, uh, weeks or months, if this doesn't go away. So that was around September or, or October. And I started, I just started kind of trying to pay attention to taking care of myself. And then gradually I, I thought I had an intuition. I was like, maybe gluten, I've heard gluten isn't great for it. So we don't need a lot of gluten anyway. I took out gluten and then I started feeling like, well, maybe I should just, um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to kind of go vegetarian for like a little while and really clean up my diet. And then really interestingly, like right about February of the next year, I thought, you know, that's not helping. I think I should go vegan. And I just had an intuition about it. And I thought, I'm just going to have a very, very pure diet. Um, and it didn't cure it. It was about, I had been doing that for a, about a month and a half and everything, it wasn't better. And I thought, okay, I'm out of ideas. I don't know what else I can do. And as you probably know, Western medicine doesn't have any more ideas for Lyme disease. They have one tool, which is antibiotics. And what I had been researching, because a lot of us will do this, like I'm now an expert on <laughs> what I had. Mm -hmm. I just did all of the reading and all of the research and what I learned was at this point in that um, infection, it's already it's already in your muscles and antibiotics aren't going to help with it. So I um, I had known you and your sister through um, the uh, we were both in a business, an online business program together. And I so, so I think we were just already following each other on Facebook. And so from time to time, I would watch your videos because they're really interesting. But I was like, it's not really relevant to me because I'm super healthy. Uh, and so I think I watched a webinar one weekend and the thing that you said that was, that really did it for me was if you've had your condition for more than six months, then your doctor doesn't know how to help you. And I have been working with a doctor and also a medical intuitive, which is a person who um, tunes into your energy field and tunes into your health and kind of like psychically um, will assess your health and to see what's going on with you. Uh, and we'd gotten really good results from that particular medical intuitive in the past. He had done amazing things for our animals to help to, to heal conditions in them. Uh, and it just seemed like we were out of ideas and you were the best idea. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's an um, uh, incredible story how you did so much research about it and you've changed your diet. And that's what I really like about you because you were doing everything you can for your health. Like a lot of people who are sick, they try uh, so many things and uh, and I feel like um, maybe at one point they feel like they tried everything so where were you at that uh, when even though you've been following us a lot of people follow us they see results but they actually tell us like for example of a messenger I don't want to have a consultation until I know exactly what I have to do and uh, and how much it costs yeah but you didn't really know what we do for our clients but you still book book the call and and worked with us uh, what would you say, um, like, how is that different from somebody who like thinks, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to have a call until I know everything and if, or, or guarantee that it will work for me. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? 
I really make in, uh, decisions intuitively. And so by the time I watched the video and I thought about it, like I had a gut feeling that was like, oh, this is the next step. And so it really doesn't matter. When I get on a discovery call, I'm buying. I'm never, I don't do this. They would have to really mess it up. You would have had to tell me something cr completely crazy for me to have said, no, I'm not doing it. Um, so I've already, I had already decided this is, well, this is the thing that's going to help. You know, this is the next step. Um, and I think I had been told that um, I needed to work on my immune system. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. And, and you know, and when we had, when I'd been learning from you, like even just that for you to say that that's the right answer, like here's, here's how our program works and here's what we're going to do. To me, the investment, like, is it expensive? I'm like, I'll tell you it's expensive. Two years of my life, two years of my life that I had to uh, um, slow down, which is, was probably wasn't a bad thing, but that we had to, that I couldn't do a lot of the activities that I wanted to do. Be, and, and also having the identity for myself that I was sick. I know you work with people who are much, much sicker than I was. But to me, I was like, I'm not a sick person. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not gonna have a chronic illness. I'm just not gonna do this. And I talked to a lot of my, you know, I have clients, of course, there are plenty of women out there who have, um, you know, chronic fatigue, they have TMJ, they have some sort of other like autoimmune disease of like um, uh, Crohn's disease. A, a lot of the, the women, IBS, chronic IBS, I have a lot of women who I know who have chronic conditions. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I know I don't have a choice at that, but to me, the first the first thing that I was able to say is, it's not who I am. I'm not going to do that. I don't choose that. Um, and I, I, at that point, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to make that true because everything I had tried was not working. Um, so I was willing to do whatever it took to to change that. Uh, so you would say the first step is to, uh, to uh, not accept that you're going to be sick forever is, is to figure out the answer, like, like I think a lot of also business owners, you have this vision for yourself. You know you could do better for your have a better life. That you yes. just uh, refuse to settle for what society tells you. The same thing with your health. That uh, a lot of people uh, maybe they 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 just uh, uh, lose faith uh, because they things didn't work for them. And uh, but it's very important to not give up. Right, that's what you would say. Yes, but it's hard not to give up. It's hard not to give up because it can go when it goes on a long time and you're like, well, I think you're right about business owners, though. I, I really feel like there are certain people who feel like they can they're in control of their lives and not like I'm a victim of my circumstances. And to me, I left my corporate job because in that job, I felt like I was a victim, like I couldn't I couldn't control what was going on around me and not that I can control everything in my business, but at least I didn't feel like things were being done to me. And so uh, I do definitely have um, an identity of myself as somebody who like, I can make things happen. Not everything all the time, but I can usually make things happen if it's in my control. And this felt like a thing that was uh, in my control for a little bit. And if it was possible that like, if I didn't do something right then, like it was gonna rapidly get out of my control. So could you tell me more about them? Um, because you said, you know, six months you were working with doctors, you need to see results. But in a program, you started seeing improvements uh, faster. Could you share more about uh, how soon you started seeing improvements? Yeah, you had said, um, you know, you had said that we could expect to see, you know, it depends on the person, but usually you kind of have an intuitive, I mean, not an intuitive, you have an ex expert idea about how fast uh, people will see results based on their condition. And so the first thing that you had said was like uh, about when I could expect to see some changes. And I can't remember if it was like what happened in, you know, the first week or two weeks or whatever, but, um, but I definitely like 30 days in, I didn't have any, I wasn't feeling my symptoms anymore. Like I wasn't cured. I could tell, but I was like, my symptoms were under control. And I've said that my symptom, my version of Lyme was the easiest kind. Cause I, I have clients who are like, they are in bed. Um, they're bedridden from Lyme or they can only work a few hours a day, uh, or they have brain fog. And to me, I just think that would be awful just to feel like not, you know, I'm, our work is so mental. Like I can't imagine just not having your brain be reliable. Um, so, uh, it was, but 
for the, I keep doing this with my hands because I have, I have it in my fingers and I'd never had that before. So the way I know where my symptoms are is I wake up and I'm like, and then I go like check my spine and then I would check my knees and I would check my hips. And, you know, I just kind of do the, a body scan of it. And within 30 days, um, I know they were going down every single week. And we could look back, you know, you have us do a journal. So a, a daily journal, which is super helpful so that I know exactly where I am, where my mood is, and then what I ate that day and how I took care of myself, what I exercised, whatever I did, and then um, exactly what our symptoms are. And so I could kind of uh, see exactly what was happening. But I do remember that our symptoms, my symptoms by that point were under control. And by the time I left the program, um, you know, I think... Uh, the idea is your your immune system will continue to heal. But I I was very clear that, um, and part of the reason that I kept um, all of the things, doing all of the things that you teach us um, with nutrition and um, just kind of taking care of myself was because I didn't want to see my symptoms come back. And I could see if I did something off the program, well, there you go. There's my fingers hurting. Um, and if as long as I was really strict about it, then that didn't happen. Uh, clients maybe they work with us and they get better in a program even become symptom free and then they find another doctor who tells you completely different information and they start doing it and they get uh, sick again or they get another autoimmune disease i've actually gotten one email from one of our clients who was uh, really sick uh, became symptom free in a program and then she completely stopped uh, doing the things we taught uh, just uh, not just you know minimizing or yeah, because uh, a lot of our clients are able to be more flexible with their lifestyle yeah. and nutrition and still be symptom free, but it's just completely doing things the opposite of what we teach. And then they tell us, you know, a few years later, they have another autoimmune disease, which they didn't have before. So I, I know like what made you kind of, you know, because uh, there's so much information, different doctors, you know, they have evidence and proof. Yeah, you should yeah. be doing that. Uh, what kept you, you know, from. Uh, going towards a direction and being, you know, oh, maybe uh, what they're saying is also true. Uh, yeah. I should be, do maybe, you know, I'm lacking certain things in my diet. Sometimes people tell us, you know, I'm lacking yeah. protein. <laughs> I'm I'm lacking this. I should be yeah. eating more of that. Like what made you not go towards other things that you see online? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm pretty skeptical about all of that random stuff. And also I, everything was working great for us. My husband did everything with me too. It was just, it's kind of easier in the household to do it. Although I told him it's a very, like it can be challenging and especially in the beginning. And I told him if it had been you, I wouldn't have done it. So I would have been like, good job, honey. But I would have just like gone on doing my own thing. But he decided to do it along with me. And you were both very supportive of, um, of having him join me. And, you know, when the house, whole household does it together, uh, we do it when we travel, we keep, um, almost everything. We just keep all of this stuff because, um, because it works and I don't have, I'm not missing anything. Uh, you know, I mentioned to you that, um, uh, I work with some medical intuitives and uh, including the one that I'd been working with before who had been trying to help me with it and it wasn't working. Um, and so since, since I've been, um, doing, uh, your work, I've, uh, he has told me at a certain point. Um, I'd been, it had been about a year and a half and, uh, that we'd been on the program. And then he said, uh, you know, you don't have, uh, you don't have, I don't detect it anymore in you, which, you know, again, they're people who are skeptical will say, this is total nonsense. And I'm like, when you have, uh, a chronic illness that no one can perceive, like I could, there's no blood test I could do. There's no, at, at a certain point, you know, there's, it doesn't, it's not detected anymore or it is detected. Like the, the blood test won't help. So there's no blood test. There's no external text test I could do. So really it's just me saying how I feel. And so there, there isn't really any, I didn't need anything else except for, I still felt the symptoms, um, which would for me, if I did too much exercise, I would feel a lot of my symptoms, um, because I was, I'm very clean with my diet. And so, um, like I know sugar can really set off arthritis. And so I'm, I'm except for like a few fruits here and there, I'm very diligent about my diet. Um, but if I exercise too much, then I would feel, um, all my symptoms kick up and that's not, uh, that's not a good situation for me. I want to be able to exercise. I love hiking. I wanted to get back. I'm on the elliptical. Finally, again, I want to get back on that very soon. I'll be doing like weightlifting. 
So um, I had uh, one medical intuitive tell me, well, you're now free. It's clear. I don't detect it at all. And I was like, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And so then a second person that I was working with just on kind of seeing if I couldn't get these last few things um, taken care of, she said, well, I'm not detecting the Lyme at all. And I was like, well, that's not true. Uh, and so she said, um, that maybe I had some, uh, some other toxins in my body, which probably is true. Uh, so we worked a little bit on that. Um, and then, uh, recently there was another person who said, no, you're, you're completely clear. So this is somebody who was, um, uh, doing kind of like, uh, an overall reading of me and had said very many true things in a row. And so I was like, okay, I'm open to this. And so she said, um, she said, oh, and I'm just getting that your immune system is really, really strong. And I said, well, that's great, but I have chronic Lyme. And she said, what? And I said, yeah. She said, no, no, you don't. And I said, yeah, I do. And she said, no, you don't. And I said, I do. And she said, no, you don't. You might think you do, but you don't. And I said, okay, so hold on. Let's just say I don't. What is this thing in my spine? Because what um, has been very scary for me for a long time and why I thought I'm going to be in a wheelchair when I'm older is because my uh, of all of the things that I've done, the one symptom that really wouldn't go away or get better was in the middle of my spine. Uh, and it's I, it's a thing I never had before. And with, with the Lyme, what I would do is I would feel joints. I didn't even know where they were. So I would feel like inside of my spine, there was kind of a, a, a burning irritation or inflammation inside my spine. Again, the cleanest possible diet. I'm doing everything on the program. And that thing is like um, staying there. And so she, I said, let's say I don't have anything. What's in my spine? And she basically described that it was an emotional thing um, and an ener like an energy thing. And she gave me some advice about what to do about it. And so I did that, uh, what she said, and it's gone. Like, I don't have that feeling at all. I have a little bit of residual in the muscles around that area. I can feel kind of a little soreness, like they, they're they still kind of getting used to that thing is not there. Um, and so after she said that, that I've contacted you recently to say, by the way, I don't have this anymore. So I don't not, not only do I not have the thing in the spine, I had thought that I felt other things in my body. And as soon as I stopped thinking that I felt them, I don't feel them anymore. So all of the symptoms that originally drove me to you, I don't have any of those anymore. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, congratulations. That's really great to hear. And actually, I do notice some clients as well, because we know that our immune system has memory, antibodies can float around until they disappear from the blood work, and our cells have memory. So sometimes clients, even though they lapse, even be normal, or they haven't had symptoms, but they would have just uh, symptoms like headaches that they used to have with lupus would come and go until it eventually disappears. So different things in our life, stress can uh, trigger some of the symptoms that people might think it's related to their autoimmune disease, but it is not. It's related to the stress or anxiety that they're feeling that uh, uh, that uh, also can over time will disappear. So what you're telling me, I have I have heard that from uh, some clients uh, who have experienced that as well, some symptoms that are not related to the autoimmune disease that they think it is autoimmune disease, but they're just lingering around. And what's the medical thing that's the memory that you're talking about? You said, is it the antibodies or what is the, what's the memory that's in the immune system or that's in the body that is making, that made me think, uh, like, I know the brain is super powerful so that if my brain is like, yeah, I have arthritis in my fingers and my spine and my knees and my toes. So of course I would expect to see that stuff outside of my mind. Where is the memory? Yes. Yeah, so Cells and uh, immune cells, they have memory. So when people have been sick for a long time, so even if their labs are normal or the symptoms been gone, sometimes like these symptoms would, would come back or one symptom would come back that they used to have related to the autoimmune disease. But it's not because the disease is back. It's because our immune system still has memory that is giving us that symptom. Or a body has memory that it was sick for so long 
which can be triggered during like a hormonal changes or during a mm. menstrual cycle, which mm -hmm. during menstrual cycle, inflammation goes up in the body and people are more likely to even get sick with the flu during that time. That's why it's important for us uh, women to rest more during that time. Uh, but uh, yeah, that most is because our immune system and the body has memory that it has been sick. But if symptoms come back, it doesn't always mean the disease is back. It just means that if you, you you eventually the symptoms will disappear or something else in your life like stress or anxiety is triggering those symptoms that are not related to your autoimmune disease, like in Amazing. your case. So it's an uh, so the inflammation symptom is coming up maybe in response to an emotion or as you're saying to stress. So I have that same symptom happen, even though the underlying condition isn't there anymore. Exactly. So, and, and, but because you've been, you've been sick, that's where it, that symptom come, comes up. But for somebody mm -hmm. like me, uh, like I haven't been sick, but the way that I would see it is I would just feel more fatigued, uh, uh, just more, more tired, but I don't actually get any symptoms any, uh, anymore because I never had any type of disease. And that's the reason why we haven't had it. Uh, because we follow what we teach our clients. Uh, so <laughs> Good. All, all these years, actually seeing more and more benefits. Uh, people ask us, you know, like our hair is really long and thick. Yeah. I had to cut my hair because it keeps growing. It doesn't uh -huh. work uh, taking yeah. care of your hair when it's so long. So sure. I cut it because it's taking me a long time to take care of it. <laughs> but uh, but, uh, but uh, that's why, uh, but that's why, you know, I could get like a symptom like fatigue, but I'm not actually mm. getting any disease because we follow what we teach our clients for all these years too. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> well, it was very gratifying for me to have somebody say to me, your immune system is really strong. Uh, because I was like, I thought so, except for this one thing. And now to hear like, no, it is really strong period. So, uh, that to me is really important because I know that what you had said, and one of our medical intuitives had said, you know, your immune system will take care of it. And I was like, I don't think it will. And then you had said, you know, we're going to get this to where, because there isn't a way to fight this particular illness, like it's anti uh, antibiotics or your immune system. And I just thought, I don't know if my immune system is up to this, but then you helped me build it up. Yes, because um, a body has ability to heal itself. We just have to give it all the right things to create the best cells in the body. So people think that they're doing everything right with the nutrition, yeah. but there's healthy food that they're eating that are inflammatory or or they don't cause disease, but they don't help you heal. And that's what we help people figure out what is they doing wrong and not enough of. And even though we explain that, but a lot of people come to us, they don't want to do nutrition. They feel like it's perfect or they think it's not going to work for them because they've done it for like the last 10 years. They already know everything about nutrition uh, so that's, I think the thing that we struggle is maybe like explaining how, uh, how, how could this be different compared to what you're doing, even though we do focus on your immune system. And then we have the results where clients do get better in 30 to 40 days. Yeah. Uh, would you, would you agree that, the, uh, like that's a difference is that, Oh, I think it's a huge results? difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. I thought, I mean, we ate, we've been eating very clean for years because, um, uh, just cause we're, you know, as we got older, we would be like, well, it was fun to eat this way, but we can't like have pizza and beers all the time anymore. And okay, well, we used to do all this, like, uh, you know, I'll eat a lot of cookies or sweets and things like that, but like, come on, let's be realistic. Like I can't eat like that all the time anymore. And so we had a, both had a very clean diet and were, um, in really fit. And especially when I first came to you, I was super fit because, um, of the, you know, when all of COVID happened, we were all indoors and I was like, well, I have to do something. And so I was working out a lot. So I'm in really, really good physical shape, but, um, but nothing is working. And I think the, the number one thing I learned from you was about inflammation, inflammatory foods and non-inflammatory foods and the things that we think, as opposed to we, uh, the things that actually are. And so I really pay attention to that even now of like, well, that's inflammatory. So I'm not going to have that. Or, um, if, I eat something knowing it's inflammatory, then I'm like, and I have a certain, um, you know, reaction to that. I'm like, well, of course, because like you can't eat that and not have consequences from it. So um, to me, nutrition is, I'm just, uh, the way I feel is like nutrition, like food is medicine. And so uh, like, it's to me the best place to start. It's much better than trying to 
uh, to do things through, you know, everyone's thinking about like supplements or, you know, or pharmaceuticals. I just would not choose to be in a situation. I know some people don't have that choice. They have to be on pharmaceuticals. And for me, knowing that I, there weren't any that would have helped me anyway, I just thought like, let's do things in the, in the most pure and basic way and just clean up our nutrition first and then see what happens. And, you know, my only, um, the only thing that happened to me was I just didn't quite have enough patience for, um, uh, how long it was going to take. And it took, you know, it took about a year and a half and maybe a little less than that, but it took a year to heal from this disease that some people never heal from, you know, some people can take a few rounds of antibiotics and they can get, you know, they can really kind of get it when it's young. But for me, I thought, I really, really thought I might, I might be like, I might have this my whole life and I don't know what kind of damage it's going to do to my body. And so let's clean it up. And it's also possible that if I didn't feel great all the time right now, I might be doing something different, but you know, you can see, I don't, I have plenty of energy, mm -hmm. uh, tons and tons of energy. Mm -hmm. I sleep great. We take like a few supplements mm -hmm. and that's all we take. A lot of people feel like, well, you probably have to get most of your nutrition through supplements. And I'm like, that's not true. I get almost all my nutrition. I mean, all my, um, vitamins, everything I need is through my food. All the nutrients come through our food. Um, uh, so we feel great. Both yeah, of us. Great. Wonderful. And, uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, so, uh, we already talked about, uh, everything. Uh, I just want to ask you what's next for you. Anything exciting or what's your plan plans for the next, uh, maybe, you know, if you live, aside from living a great, healthy life. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, late spring here, early summer, I'm a huge gardener. So I love to grow our food. We grow a lot of lettuces. Um, you know, how, how we eat so healthy, like tons and tons of healthy greens, by the way, I've told people like, when you eat healthy greens, they change your DNA. Like that's not like crazy, you know, metaphysics. Like that's go read the science. It actually rewrites your DNA. So I love to grow my own food. So it's gardening season. So I'm very excited about that, which is another reason why it helps to stay fit. And also that I need to have an, a business that gives me a lot of freedom because gardening can take a lot of time. In my business, I'm, um, you know, I'm always uh, kind of growing and expanding. I have a, um, a a podcast that I do where I get to um, teach all of the things that I've learned about growing businesses and having a life of freedom to other um, women business owners. And uh, so I'll be, I have um, new things, new kind of business ventures that'll uh, that'll be coming soon over the summer. But um, yeah, fun times, and we spend tons of time with our um, with our family and friends. And that's really important. All of our friends uh, follow the, the same nutritional principles as, um, as you and we do, which makes getting together really fun and exciting. And, uh, and a lot of our friends are in their seventies and they look great. They're in fantastic shape. And so, you know, getting older is like a scary thing. If you see everyone around you breaking down, but we are getting older and everyone around us is like in great shape. And so we're excited about it. Well, I'm glad that you've been able to inspire all the people around you with your health and 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 help them also make the changes that they need to have the best health. But we also had clients in their 70s who got sick like six years ago and they continued getting worse working with their doctors. But in a program, they got better in six weeks and they got more energy. The labs have improved. We have we have we had one client who had uh, kidney issues and lung function was going down and her lung function improved. Yeah. And and then we had many clients who struggled with long haul COVID. They uh -huh, were able uh -huh. to recover. And again, sometimes undiagnosed uh, uh, diseases, normal labs, but they have all the symptoms that we help yeah. them with. So I'm really, I'm always so excited to see people we've helped who continue learning uh, things and, and continue actually getting healthier as, as we get older. So that's what we want to educate. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, you mentioned like you have a podcast. If people were interested to learn about your podcast, it's just under your name, right? Uh, uh -huh. it's, it's called Profitable Joyful Consulting. Okay. And it's everywhere where uh, podcasts are found. My name is Samantha Hartley and I have my website is samanthahartley.com. And so you can uh, learn more about me there. And I, you know, I share a lot of what we talk about of what, what I learned from you. I mean, to me, what I think is really so important about what you're doing is that you're offering hope 
to people who are at a point where it's hopeless. Like, um, you know, I thought oh, I'm, I'm, this is just going to get worse and worse and I'm going to end up in a wheelchair. And I know there are people who have long haul COVID, uh, and other autoimmune diseases. And they're like, nothing, nothing is going to work with for me. And I, I think, uh, emphasizing how closely you work with everybody who's in the program, because you, every single day we were in touch. I could like ask you every, you know, every single day that I was in the program, including Saturdays and Sundays, like what's, what's going on. Uh, and I was just so grateful for that personal assistance and also to see other people that I was in the program with who I was like, Oh my gosh, like I don't have anything like that's a much, much worse condition than what I have. Uh, and just seeing people get better. It was super inspiring. Yeah. So having that uh, supportive community in for your health or your business, you, that's, that's a key really to success. Always. Having the, Always. Somebody there for you to whatever you, your goal is in your life. It's important. I, I agree with that. Definitely. Very. Yeah, no, you you both do it so, so well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, it was great uh, chatting with you, Samantha. I'm really happy about everything that's going on in your life and, and your health. And we'll be in touch with you. Thanks for joining us uh, today on the, on the call. Thank you so much for having me.